Hey there, Melissa at Safe Haven Ministries. Today, we're going to be talking about blessing people that really try to cause you trouble. Um, I always believe in, in moving in an opposite spirit. If someone comes against you with anger, you need to come against them with peace. You need to uh, respond it, it's not, you'll never be held responsible for what they do, but you'll be held responsible for your response to that. If they come at you with lies, then you speak truth over the situation. If they come at you with hate, then you speak love over the situation. But you move in an opposite spirit. Well, that's what this is about today. If you will look at Romans 12, verse 14, while I take the gum out of my mouth, we'll read that, okay? Sorry, I forgot to do that. I don't want to choke while I'm teaching you. It says this, Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. <laughs> you know, it's very easy to respond to somebody who says, Hey, you're doing such a good job. Good to see you. You look great. Well, it's easy to respond to that. But when somebody comes against you and deliberately says something to hurt you, or to uh, make you look bad publicly, that's a whole different ball game. But Jesus said, bless them that persecute you. One, I, I was reading a story about Rick Renner and he said years before, he said somebody had brought him a, a national newspaper. And in the newspaper, he said, you know, uh, I think you need to see this, Rick. Well, he said, I opened it up and on the front page of the paper, there was a terrible article about me. He said, I looked at that and I thought, this is nothing but lies. What in the world? And and he was so upset and he thought, what are people going to think after they read this? I tend to believe that people are going to believe what they want to believe because if they believe in you, I don't think something like this changes them. However, he did feel like it would and he said, you know, I I was so infuriated with a, a female reporter because I knew she did it. She's the one who took responsibility for it. And she sat in my office the week before and told me how great everything was. So he said, I, I tried to think, what can I do? Should I, should I put an advertisement in the newspaper and answer all these allegations? Should I demand the newspaper fire the reporter? Um, what action should I take in response? And he said, I fell back on this scripture. And he said, you know, once you, that once I heard the words, you bless them that persecute you. I heard it in my spirit. The word bless is you let, you let logeo, you logeo. And it basically means that well, uh, like good or well, any positive emotion. That's what it is. And, and it means that you, you're going to say things that are good and positive, even in response to things that are ugly. The word you let legeo, which is uh, where we get the word uh, eulogy that we speak at a funeral. And hopefully the funerals you're in are positive because not all of them are, but, but they should be. So when Paul tells us to bless those who persecute you, literally he is saying there it to return a blessing for a curse. In other words, you're moving in an opposite spirit. And and not only that though, it may be hard on the flesh, but the 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 way that it's written in this in this passage in the tense that it's written, it means it's to be a continual action. In other words, you don't just say one time, yeah, they're really great. You don't do that. You repeat it over and over and over. And when somebody brings their name up and you think, well, I know all about them and I'm going to say this and I'm going to say that. Well, I've been, I've been guilty of that at times. You don't want to, you don't want to be around them. They do this. Instead of doing that, Jesus said, that's not what I want from you. I want you to bless them and speak highly of them. And to do that, you got to squelch the flesh because your mouth is just itching to get in there and say, well, let me tell you about that old heifer. Yeah, it's what your mouth wants to do. And God's saying, don't do that. Don't do that. This is where I think you should have duct tape, duct tape to slap over my mouth. Paul says when we're in this situation, 
we are not uh, to, it says curse not. Well, the word curse there means a verbal curse. You know, we know the power of words. That's why we don't want to say anything that would uh, hurt someone or, or bring uh, trauma in their life. The ancient belief was that, and that's kind of born out of the scriptures, you know, uh, we should never forget the power of the words we speak. And so we need to be careful. In Proverbs 18, 1, it says, remember, there is life and death in the power of the tongue. So rather than get upset at that person that wrote that ugly article, he said, I just felt like the Lord was saying, you bless, you speak blessings into her life. And, and so he said, I knew this journalist and I did know she was lost. She didn't know the Lord, but he said, I, I did what I could do. I spoke blessings over her. I thank God for her. And I believe God to do something truly remarkable in her life and to make her life better and more blessed. As it turned out, that was the last time you saw an article like that in their newspaper against them. He said, I'm just convinced that this bless you, curse not, bless and curse not, uh, power of God works. He said, I believe it works. If someone has done something that's bad or injurious to you, never fall in the trap of becoming bitter and angry and having nothing to do with them. And never underestimate the importance of how you respond to people who persecute you. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't know who's been spoken against, but you do, and you know it hurts. So, Lord, I'm praying that we all operate in the right spirit, and we move in forgiveness. We open our hearts to you, Lord, and we let you fight the battle for us. God, we thank you for who you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.